Popping out the regal with the ego Hoodie hood, big headed like an ego Look up in the sky, fly, tripping like a seagull Nigga in the glove, ain't no love for an amigo And even he know, uh, way too much Nigga say I did drug, way too What's happening, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This your boy, Hoodie from the Hood, aka you already know the rest. Um, I just want to holler at y'all for a quick second. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I ain't finna use my whole break talking to y'all, but you know, I might go live later on. I know I always say that, but shit be happening, anyways. Uh, I just want to touch on the topic that happened the other day. I think it was about five people that got shot in Inglewood. Um, I heard three people died. Then I heard four. Maybe maybe the fourth person died on the way to the hospital or at the hospital. I don't know. Um, but I really wanted to speak on uh, the little girl who party it was. 20-year-old um, female. Uh, I guess she was from Ma Paru. Um, and I'm guessing the people that was there was from Ma Paru um, or, or, or associated in some type of way. Um what why they had the party in Inglewood? I don't know. I don't you know I don't play Facebook, not Facebook, YouTube, uh detective. I don't that's above my pay grade what happened and why it happened. Um but that's unfortunate, homie. That is unfortunate. Um just just imagine when you was 20 years old. The last thing you thought about when you was turning 20 or on any of your birthdays is getting killed, homie. Um I think from what I had seen the little small clip, it said that somebody bust in the door and got cracking. Jesus. Now that right there, homie, um, with that, that leads me to my next thing that I was going to say. Uh, you got to watch the company you keep. Now I'm not saying or, or insinuating that, uh, the people at the party set her up or anything like that. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is, Somebody who wasn't supposed to know where that party was found out where that party was. If you understand me, like from, from what I seen when they were showing like her last little story before it happened, um, it looked like she had set up, looked it real nice, you know, and then she had said y'all could start coming now when she was ready for people to start showing up. So uh, somehow, some way that address, I think, got out there. Um, or oh, I could be wrong. Somebody could have just been riding by and uh, mistook the Ma Pa rules, obviously being from Compton, for whatever Inglewood gang is in that area. Whatever gang occupies that specific uh, territory. And it could have been some Inglewood people there. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not playing detective on here. Uh, but y'all got to watch the company you keep, homie. And I always tell people, when I'm doing something, me personally, of course, I used to be the type of homie where it don't matter. Anybody could show up. But when you start not fucking with people or people don't fuck with you or whatever the case is, maybe you just want a smaller, smaller gathering nowadays. You know what I mean? You probably don't want 200 fucking people. You probably don't want 50 people. You know, I had a party a couple years ago uh, at the Hard Rock. That was a party where nigga pull up. I don't care. You know, um, last year I decided not to have a party it's just hit or miss it just depends on how people is feeling um one day i might I, I might do something bigger i might be on the yacht this year ain't no telling you know what i mean and then the next year after that i might not party at all i might sit at home in my fucking drawers eating cereal ain't no telling homie um but you gotta watch the company you keep homie and if you kicking it with people who you tell them like, hey, man, don't be, you know, just we gonna have a small gathering, you know, because people would do shit like this. They'll, they'll be at the mall or something, uh, uh, getting their outfit to come to your party. And another homie will call them like, what you doing? All oh, shit at the mall, getting something to wear for the night. For what? Oh, it's this little shit I'm going to. Now he like, man, where you going? Nigga, I can't go. Oh, shit, it's the homie C that he don't really want too many people there. Now they didn't threw you under the bus. Now that homie didn't hit you up like, what's up, cuz? I can't come. What's up? What's happening? See, that's that weird shit. When you tell a motherfucker, don't be telling everybody, bro. We finna have a small little gathering, just us. People, they, 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 they do little shit like that, homie. And 
Let's say that person just tell that person and he don't say nothing. Let's say he don't want to come, but this nigga secretly don't like you or whatever the case. Or he knows somebody else that don't like you and then he tell them, you know, they having a party tonight. Yeah. And then they be watching everybody's story, trying to see where you at, trying to see if they could see any memorable landmark in the background so they could be in that area, homie. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if that's what happened with that case. I'm just saying people do stuff like that. People be doing their homework. People be miserable. People be just wanting to fuck shit up for whatever reason. But um, you got to start asking yourself, is it that important to even attend these types of events? Like, come on, homie. You got the pandemic. So that's one thing. You got to worry about who got that shit up in that party because somebody you know they got symptoms and don't care and go to that party because they want to party um or they don't know they got symptoms either way uh so besides that uh you got to worry about stuff like that happening whether it be somebody you know uh uh, uh finding out where the party is at who don't particularly like that group of people uh some ops coming through or just niggas getting faded at the party that's hella cool and somehow shit go left and then they start busting inside the party at each other and somebody get hit with a stray bullet you got to ask yourself is it that important to attend this event you know what i mean like is it that serious do you really have to go and uh be a part of a party do you at this point in age i mean of course you know, somebody being 20 or being young like that, of course, they think it is. But when you get older, when you start getting up at, you know, in, in, after 25 and in them 30s and stuff like that, like myself, you got to start asking yourself, is it really that necessary to go to something like this, homie? And um, that's it. That's all, man. Like I said, rest in peace to that girl. Rest in peace to them people. I don't know them, but... Man, she was 20 years old. Just think about it, homie. Just think about it. Damn, when she when when it was leading up to her birthday, you know, she probably was just talking about all she want to do for her birthday is turn up. She going to do this. She going to do that. Like I said, the, the decorations, everything looked nice. It looked like she went out of her way to make her party be a success. And it looked like it was going well, homie. If you they, they got her story all over the uh the internet as far as like her Instagram story and it looked like she took she she put a lot of time and, and effort into uh making her 20th party be an epic one homie and for it to end like that that is a shame that is tragic homie but anyways y'all let me know if y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all seen it let me know what y'all think in the comments homie thanks for rocking with me we almost have 4,000 we might already be I don't know I didn't look uh, I just didn't want to leave y'all hanging. It's been about probably four or five days since I hit y'all with something. But uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think about that situation. Please don't come in there trying to do the police's work. Let the police work, man. They get paid for a reason. Just let me know what y'all think. I'm Hoodie Hood, man. Hoodie from the hood. Yeah, I'm out. Hopping out the regal with the eagle. Hoodie Hood, big headed like an eagle. Look up in the sky, fly, tripping like a seagull. Nigga in the glove, ain't no love for in the Migo. And even he know. Uh. Way too much, nigga say I did drugs way too much.